opened the 2016 City of Jacksonville Arbor Day Observance, the Associate Superintendent for Instructional Services and Continuous Improvement for Onslow County Schools, Dr. Leslie Eason. Good morning, everyone. I'd like, thank you. I'd like to welcome everyone to this annual Arbor Day Observance by the City of Jacksonville, the Jacksonville Tree Board, and the Jacksonville Environmental and Appearance Advisory Committee. This is the 36th time that Jacksonville has been rec recognized as a Tree City USA program participant. On behalf of the Onslow County School System, I would especially like to welcome you to Clyde Irwin this morning, and it is my distinct honor to introduce all of you to our Clyde Irwin principal, Ms. Lori Howard. Good morning. It is indeed a pleasure to host Jacksonville's Arbor Day ceremony. As an IB World School, it is our hope to educate students in such a way that they embrace the idea that it is that as citizens of the world, it is their job to care for the world and its people. Arbor Day is a perfect example and opportunity to remind our students and the adults who are here of the importance of caring for our world. It is also my pleasure to introduce Mrs. Suzanne Nelson. As her aunt, it has been an honor to watch her mature into such a civic-minded individual. Mrs. Nelson was the first chairwoman of the Jacksonville Environmental and Appearance Advisory Committee and serves now as the Tree Board Chairman. By city ordinance, it is her responsibility, along with the other members of the Tree Board, to hold this annual observance in celebration of trees. Please help me welcome Mrs. Suzanne Nelson. Good morning. Pretty good. Well, we are happy to be here and we are waiting to see you guys perform. I heard you practicing earlier and you did a very good job. So everybody that's here is ready and then you'll even be on TV. Isn't that special? Jacksonville has a long tradition of observing Arbor Day as well as supporting beautification efforts. A long line of citizens have led to lead, advise, advocate and do hands-on work to help improve the appearance of our city. Each of you that's here today, as well as all of those who are watching us on TV, are now a part of this legacy of seeking to improve the beautification and appearance efforts of our city. Today's purpose is twofold. We're here to celebrate Arbor Day and what it means, but we're also here to add more trees to the urban forest of our city. Let us begin with an invocation that will be led by Ms. Linda Smith. Ms. Smith is the former vice chair of the Jacksonville Environmental and Appearance Advisory Committee. She's also the chairman of the planning subcommittee and a member of the Jacksonville Tree Board. Let's welcome Ms. Smith. Good morning. Good morning, Ms. Smith. Thank you, let us pray. Oh God, we thank you for this earth, our home, for the wide sky and the blessed sun, for the ocean and streams, for the towering hills and the whispering wind, for the trees and green grass. We thank you for our senses from which we hear the songs of birds and see the splendor of fields of golden wheat and taste autumn's fruit, and rejoice in the feel of rain and the smell and smell the breath of spring flowers. Grant us a heart open wide to all this beauty and save us from being so blind that we pass unseen when even the common weed is aflame with your glory. Amen. Amen. And now leading us in the Pledge of Allegiance is Bajar Al-Jabbi. al, al -Jabbi. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, 
one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Leo Todd, Alavandera, Estados Unidos, y la República que representa una nación bajo Dios, indivisible, con libertad, justicia para todos. You may be seated. Good job, Bashar. Our efforts today reach back more than 35 years. It is a part of proud heritage advanced by the city of Jacksonville and its citizens. For many years, the city has provided a formal acknowledgement of Arbor Day. Today, council member Randy Thomas will continue this tradition. Mr. Thomas. Thank you, good morning. It's an honor to perform this duty of bringing this proclamation to you. I strongly believe in the value of trees and see the improvement they have made in our community, particularly now that we're in fully engaged in the Clean and Green Jacksonville program. Suzanne, would you, as a chairman of the Jacksonville Tree Board and the other members of the Environmental and Appearance Committee present, please step forward to receive this proclamation. City of Jacksonville, North Carolina, Proclamation. Whereas Arbor Day is celebrated to emphasize that we believe in the importance of tree planting as a legacy for future generations. Whereas trees protect land and structures by reducing runoff, binding soil, and minimizing flood damage, and whereas trees develop community pride and unity by giving people an opportunity to work together as they plant and care for them. And whereas trees reduce the cost of controlling stormwater runoff, in addition to offsetting greenhouse gases from cars and homes, and whereas the city of Jacksonville, through our landscaping and urban development, urban forestry efforts, will continue to beautify the city by planting, caring for, and preserving our trees for future generations. Now, therefore, on behalf of Mayor Sammy Phillips of Jacksonville, I do hereby proclaim April 29, 2016 as Arbor Day in the city of Jacksonville. And I urge all residents to celebrate this special day by supporting efforts of protecting our trees and woodlands and to further our city's urban forestry programs for the well-being of our present and future generations. Today is another proud day for the city of Jacksonville and a day to celebrate what's good about our community. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, giving a tribute to Arbor Day in poetry, Clyde Irvin students. Trees by Joyce Kilmer. I think that I shall never see a poem lovely as a tree. A tree whose hungry mouth is pressed against the earth's sweet flowing breast. A tree that looks to God all day and lifts her leafy arms to pray. A tree that may in summer wear a nest of robins in her hair, upon whose bosom snow is, has lain, who intimately lives with rain. Poems are made by people like me, but only God can make a tree. Now we will hear a poem from Ivy and Sarah from the third grade splash class. Los árboles de mi calle están poniendo dorados. El otoño de los otros años ha, vuel ha vuelto y a los pintados. Pronto caerán sus hojas y el viento las llevará. Y cuando se ve, acabe sorry, el otoño, ni una hoja quedará. Good 
Good job, girls. Good job, Reed. It is our tradition to annually welcome the representatives of the North Carolina Forestry Service. These who are here today and those who have been before us over the past 35 years have served to give appreciation to the city of Jacksonville. Today we welcome Onslow County Forest Ranger, Mr. Brett Evans, to our ceremony. Good morning. It is a pleasure to be here today to celebrate Arbor Day and to present the city of Jacksonville with this 2015 Tree City USA Award. Jacksonville is one of 85 cities and towns in North Carolina and one of over 3,400 in the nation to receive this recognition. Tree City USA began in, as a 1976 bicentennial project co-sponsored by the National Association of State, Forest, State Foresters and the U.S. Forest Service. The National League of Cities and the U.S. Conference of Mayors are now co-sponsors as well. The Tree City USA program is a partnership between the North Carolina Forest Service and the National Arbor Day Foundation. Awards are presented annually to cities and towns that demonstrate a commitment to making their communities more livable by planting and caring for trees. Jacksonville has once again met the four criteria for this award, which are, first of all, a public tree ordinance, establishing policies for, st for street and park trees. Secondly, a tree board and or city department responsible for the care and management of the community's trees. A community forestry program with an annual expenditure of at least $2 per capita. And finally, an annual Arbor Day observance and proclamation to celebrate trees and the many benefits they provide. Today's celebration meets the requirement for next year's award. For a community forestry program to be effective, it takes support and commitment from the entire community. In Jacksonville, the community forestry program thrives because of the combined dedication of the tree board members, the city staff, elected officials, business community, homeowners, and all residents who take pride in improving the quality of life in Jacksonville through environmental stewardship. Jacksonville has been a tree city since 1980, and the program has provided education, tree awareness, and the impetus to the Beirut Memorial, which is the largest memor military memorial ever constructed from private funds. Trees being planted on this Arbor Day will provide a windbreak, visual enhancement, and serve as a backdrop to the enhancements being made by the school and the city of Jacksonville. On behalf of the National Arbor Day Foundation and the North Carolina Forest Service, I am proud to present Jacksonville with your 2015 Tree City USA Award. Presenting a tribute and song to Arbor Day, the first graders of Clyde Irvin Elementary Magnet School.
The Memorials and Honor Program is a legacy of the city of Jacksonville. It began as a simple method of memorializing a loved one with the gift of a tree that would be planted to help in the beautification of Jacksonville. It was successful and many trees were planted. Its success of the past was however overshadowed by one event, the October 23, 1983 Beirut bomb blast. When news of the loss of life spread quickly around Jacksonville, contributions were made in the memorial to the Memorial Tree Program. A single class at Northwoods Park Middle School vowed to plant a tree in honor of each of those who died. With national attention to the blast and the effort to remember the fallen, funds far in excess of what was needed for the 241 trees were collected. That led to the effort to build the Beirut Memorial. Now, the Memorial and Honors Program offers opportunities not only to memorialize or honor someone or an event with a tree, but adds the opportunity to make this gift in the form of flower beds, landscaping, and other seasonal enhancements in our parks and memorials. Let us pause as we honor those who were named in contributions to the program this past year and give appreciation to those who donated to the program. We are happy to announce a tree was planted in honor of our own tree board chairman, Susan Nelson, and her husband, Jason. The trees were given by her parents, Mr. and Ms. Joe Henderson. A memorial tree was also established with the contributions made to the memory of Daisy Bolat by the employees of the city of Jacksonville. To participate in the memorial and honors pr program, contact the city manager's office or go online to the city's website for information and forms. And now the crew from Clyde Irwin Elementary Magnet School.
what an act to follow. Lord have mercy. <laughs> they were great, great, great. The environmental and appearance advisory committee serves to advise and assist the city on matters that work to achieve a clean and green Jacksonville. This includes efforts to beautify and enhance the visual quality of the city and its public rights of uh, trails, ways, and uh, greenways to reduce litter, encourage, recycle, and reduce non-recyclable solid waste. Promote an environmental sustainable community, conserve resources, habitat preservation, and educate members of the community and promote or encourage partnerships and community efforts that would enhance and advance a clean and green Jacksonville. The committee also encourages the appreciation and care of city trees. The City of Jacksonville Tree Advisory Board is a subcommittee of the Environmental and Appearance Advisory Committee. The Environmental and Appearance Advisory Committee has created the Clean and Green Star Awards program. The awards are an opportunity to recognize and show appreciation for activities that have advanced the Clean and Green program. We want your help to recognize excellent examples of Clean and Green Jacksonville. Properties are eligible to receive the Business and Residential Appearance Award, while deserving individuals or groups are eligible to receive the Outstanding Community Service Award. It is easy to nominate a person or a property you feel is deserving of this prestigious appearance award by contacting the City Hall for a nomination form or ongoing online or going online to the city website. Now we have some special students that are going to help me with our presentation. So if y'all go on stage for me. These are young people are carrying some mighty pretty trees that they have drawn. Y'all ready now? And then they are going to present how the city has planted more than 500 trees this year. 273 of them were planted at the Beirut Memorial Grove, of which we are very, very proud. And the others were part of a memorial tree program and the trees planted at the city center for public safety and the city services complex and other locations in Jacksonville. And Mr. Michael LaCour, would you please come stand for these young people? He is the director of the park services and he needs to be recognized along with these children because he was part of um, having our, our memorial park grove uh, planted out on highway 17 south if y'all get the opportunity we would like for y'all to go out there and look at those trees we're hoping that they will be in bloom soon, uh, soon. and uh, we appreciate all the hard work that you have done in your staff we appreciate it very very much and um, thank you for your hard work Thank you for your smiles, young people. We appreciate this presentation of these beautiful trees you all have grown for us today. Thank you very much. We are very proud of our city for our beautification effort and our clean and green program throughout Jacksonville. Thank you. Well, as our program is coming to a close, we would like to thank all of you for being here celebrating and the annual Arbor Day observance of the city of Jacksonville. A special thank you to the students, staff, and faculty here at Clyde Irwin. You guys made today very special. Your participation from handing out the programs to leading in the pledge, to singing, dancing, reading the poems, the pictures that were drawn, all of that brought such a youthful spirit to the ceremony and we certainly appreciate all your hard work. So let's give them a big round of applause. Arbor Day is also a great time that we can honor and thank those who work so hard to keep our city beautiful. We would first like to recognize and acknowledge our city manager, Dr. Richard Woodruff. And he's right back there for all of y'all who don't know him. Dr. Woodruff, he is the creator and leader of Clean and Green Jacksonville. And because of his vision and commitment, 
Our city has certainly enhanced in so many ways over the past several years. So thank you, Dr. Woodruff, not only for your involvement with the beautification, but for all that you do to keep the city of Jacksonville a great place to live. Let's give him a round of applause. And we would also like to thank, as you just met, Michael LaCorey, who was up here. He is the director of Parks Facilities and also Jason Smith, who is our city horticulturist. Because of these guys and their crews, every time you visit the city park, it is superb, it is clean, you couldn't ask for any better. Our grass is mowed along our streets, the curbs are clean, litter is kept to a minimum. We have flowers now that bloom throughout the year, and our landscaping is getting updated throughout the city. But not to mention, these guys are also the ones who are responsible for the decorations that are put up at Christmas and for the flag, the banners that hang from the utility poles. So let's give them a big round of applause for their hard work as well. After Willie Saunders closes our observance today, you're all invited to help Jason and his crew because they're gonna go out, they'll be outside and gonna plant the trees around the park and they would like you guys to participate. And while you do that, there's an old saying that many of you have heard several times, but somebody is sitting in the shade today because someone planted a tree a long time ago. So today, you have the opportunity to help plant a tree so that those who come behind us can enjoy their shade. So our committee asks for you to participate, but to also remember the song that the first graders sang about being Earth Day helpers. We certainly want your help and help in City of Jacksonville staying clean and green and beautiful. Thank you, Ms. Willie. On this our day, we give thanks for the trees. We rest in their shade and breathe in their oxygen. We feast on their fruit. Trees anchor the ground beneath our feet and purify the air around us. Their cycles are a solid, faithful witness to your goodness and providence. We give thanks for all life on earth, nurtured by trees. Let your presence be known among us today and every time we view your trees. Bless them with growth and bless us with the wisdom to nurture growth throughout the world of these life-sustaining companion on this planet. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the ceremony. We invite you to go outside and help plant the trees. Mm -hmm.